up welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me again for another youtube video so the last time you guys see me i had a different hairdo i now have these long pretty brown braids and i rarely get colors so i am just loving these braids i love braids super easy to maintain but let's go ahead and hop into it so I wanted to record this video because being a realtor is really expensive and they told me it would be expensive but honestly I didn't think it would be this expensive but it's worth it it's an investment in your future and at the end of the day it takes money to make money okay that's just it um, so I kind of wanted to discuss some of the fees that I have encountered since I have been a real estate agent for anybody that is looking to become an agent soon or you've been thinking about it. These are just some fees that you may come across. Now I am in the state of North Carolina. I'm actually near Raleigh, North Carolina, so some of these fees will vary, especially depending on what state you reside in. Uh, and I'll get into that later in this video. It will be a short one, but I will get in that, into that later this video. But to start, first, to become a real estate agent, you have to take a pre-licensing exam, which I spoke about in one of the very first videos. And that cost was $450. So go ahead and get your calculator out because honestly, I have a rough estimate of about how much it has cost me thus far, but I didn't do uh, an exact number. So $450 for pre-licensing course. Next was taking my post-licensing course. So when you make a decision to become a real estate agent you will have to take the pre-licensing course and that gives you a provisional status i will not explain that in this video i just feel like it would take too long um but to become a full broker you need to take three additional courses to remove the provisional and at that point you will be a full broker so each each one of the three courses is what I will talk about. So you have post licensing 301, that cost me 198. Post licensing 302 cost me 198. And post licensing 303 cost me $216. So altogether, all of my post licensing classes cost $612 just for post license. It's no wonder that a lot of real estate agents will wait and wait and wait they will get their real estate license and continue to wait because it's expensive like you really have to be prepared for this um the next thing is most people already have this is going to be car insurance but when i signed on with my broker they required uh car insurance and it was like a specific type for uh, my broker to be added on to my policy so if you don't drive you may want to um, just think about that cost because you will have to calculate that uh, next I purchased the real estate exam book when I was taking the pre-licensing uh, course Thank God it kind of transferred over to post licensing as well. That was $39.31. There was a exam fee to actually take the state board exam, which I paid $64 for. When you take the exam, there was an application fee, and I want to say I paid $30, but I cannot find that receipt in my email. I'll have to keep searching, but I believe that was $30. I had to get a background check uh, to take this exam, the state board exam. My background check was $37.50. Depending on how much stuff you got going on with you, your background check may cost more. It's not a standard fee for a background check, just an FYI. And once again, this is for the state of North Carolina. I am located in Raleigh. So if you're in California, New York, Florida, whatever, your fees for the state board may be different next I signed on with a firm to actually you know get going and I paid pretty much a good $150 for onboarding 
and then I have my monthly expenses at sixty dollars. Uh, with that, uh, we have to get a, what is called an NC privilege license. That was another fifty dollars. I hope y'all got y'all calculator. What I'm at like fifteen hundred dollars, thousand? I don't know. So this is the kicker: the association dues. Listen real estate agent is one thing being a realtor is another thing uh what classifies you as a realtor is when you join these specific associations so in my area we have the uh raleigh regional association of realtors and we have um what is also called the triangle mls well, the Triangle MLS is $150 and it is a quarterly fee. So I paid $150. That doesn't include the upcoming $150 that will be hitting my account soon. Um, I paid $603 to join the Raleigh Regional Association of Realtors. And this was a prorated amount. This was because I came in in July of 2020. Can you imagine what that amount would have been if I would have started in January? I believe the full price for the full year is like $541 plus the $300 activation fee. So I paid $300 plus the prorated amount of $303 and my total was $603 just to join RRAR, which is Raleigh Regional Association of Realtors. And thank God I had something for free. Thank God. So my business cards and my name tag was complimentary as a new agent. Thank God. Uh, so I got this cute name tag and it's really nice. Um, I believe it's like magnetic, silver, whatever, whatever. And I also got a um, hundred business cards for free, for free, for being a new agent. So I was super blessed because had I not had that little coupon code for being a new agent, that would have been an additional $25. And I know that don't sound like a lot, but after you've done spent over, I want to say I calculated around $2,200, you don't want to spend any more money. Matter of fact, give me more money back, please. So, yeah. It's expensive to be a realtor and I would say a lot of those fees came from just being a part of like the multiple listing service which you would have to check for your specific area and the association so I will plan for about $2,500 if you're in Raleigh area or even North Carolina it would probably be around the same thing if you're looking to do everything that i did so um i think that's all that i had for you guys today today i'm in my beautiful room and i will be giving you guys a tour of my room soon because i wanted y'all to see the before and the after and i'm not done decorating i have a few more pieces that i'm waiting for like my curtains my art and i really wanted to paint really like to paint but that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and got some useful information on what it will cost you to be a realtor and that's pretty much it not to mention i will be filing to get my llc for my uh, real estate business as well coming up hopefully before the end of the year and the nc secretary of state there's a 125 dollar filing fee to have your own llc and there's other you know there's other things that are associated with having your llc as well so if you have any questions about the fees and or anything else that I mentioned in this video, feel free to comment below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Make it a great and blessed day.